Well, shalom. Welcome to this edition of Word Pictures in Ancient Hebrew. In this video, we're going to move on to another piece of armament that the Apostle Paul talks about in Ephesians chapter 6. We'll find here that he's going to talk to us about shodding our feet with the preparation of the gospel. of. We see that that's found in verse 15 of Ephesians chapter 6. And as he moves through the armament, we are reminded that he was probably looking at a Roman guard, uh, guarding him in, in incarceration. At the same time, we have to be fully aware that the apostle Paul was also known as Rabbi Shaul. And because of that, he was steeped in Jewish tradition, Jewish religion, and Jewish understanding. He had studied the scriptures, the Old Testament, as we would refer to them today, uh, in depth. And he knew not only the history of his people, but he knew the principles and precepts that God had embedded in those scriptures. So as we move through the scripture today, we're going to go back to a couple of Old Testament texts where we'll see that the Apostle Paul probably drew some of his understanding from. The first place that we go is Genesis chapter 13, 14 to 16. This is, a, this is the scene where Abraham, Abram at that time, and Lot split ways because their herds were growing so big. And Lot was given the choice of where he would take his herds and his herdsmen. And he chose the plains, by the way, which is where Sodom and Gomorrah were. Abram stayed up in the hill country. After Lot had left and departed with all of his uh, herdsmen and his herds, uh, the Lord began to speak to Abram, and he says these words to him as recorded in Genesis chapter 13. Lift your eyes now and look from the place where you are, northward, southward, eastward, and westward. For all the land which you see I give to you and to your descendants forever. Arise, walk in the land through its length and its width, for I give it to you. We need to understand that, uh, that God is having a conversation here with, um, with uh, Abram, and he's telling him everything you can see. Now, we know from history that Abram probably could literally from the top of the hill that he was on, the top of the mountain that he was on, see the entire perimeter of what we would call modern-day Israel. And so what did he do? Well, history again tells us that he got down and walked throughout the land. Uh, so that his feet literally touched the land that God was giving to him, the, at least the perimeter of it. There's another interesting scripture that the Apostle Paul would have been aware of, and that's found in Joshua chapter 1, verses 2 and 3, where they're about to enter the land and go through the Jordan River. This is several hundred years later after this first incident we talked about. And God says to Joshua at this time, Now therefore arise, go over this Jordan, you and all those people, to the land which I'm giving to them and the children of Israel. Every place that the sole of your feet will tread, I will give it to you. I'm going to give you the places that your feet touch. Now, these are two interesting cases in the Old Testament that the Apostle Paul would have been fully aware of, and he knew that God had a reason for having these men of Israel, these leaders of Israel, walk around the land and put their feet on the land. It's because God wanted them to claim it through a physical presence. It's very interesting when he begins to talk to us about shodding our feet with the preparation of the gospel of peace, uh, he's showing us a spiritual principle. You're familiar with that scripture in 1 Corinthians chapter 15, verse 46, where the apostle Paul says, the spiritual is not first. First is the natural and then comes the spiritual. It's exactly what he's doing here in Ephesians chapter 6. He's remembering these physical pictures that he learned through the scriptures he had studied, and now he's applying a scriptural principle to them, a spiritual principle to them. And so he wants us to understand that we have to shod our feet with the gospel of peace, the preparation of the gospel of peace. That's not literally putting on a, a pair of shoes or sandals, as in the case of the uh, Jews, but that's literally preparing ourselves to walk through the land that God has called us to be a part of and, and to take for the kingdom of God. By the way, that historically, we know that uh, this, in fact, happened with the children of Israel when Joshua took them into the land because our modern archaeologists have discovered places where they built stone shrines, places that were in the outline of a sandal where they would worship. They would go to these places, they would walk around them, and they would worship God because he was giving them the land that they were walking on. A great physical example of what we've been called to do spiritually. I want to refer you to a video about that if you'd like to watch it. It's done by Aaron Lipkin. Aaron owns a tour company in Israel. He is Jewish. He lives in Samaria. He's very familiar with these things. In fact, he actually takes a drone out in this video and goes to different locations and shows you the outline of the, of the rocks that have been left there for centuries now where the children of Israel 
walk through the land. And it's just a marvelous principle. I think it helps us understand what the Apostle Paul was talking to us about when he told us, I want you to na'al shalom, shod your feet, get yourself prepared, put yourself in a position so that you can carry the gospel of peace. The gospel of peace tells us that God wants to destroy every authority that causes chaos in our life. That's exactly why Yeshua came to destroy the works of the enemy. Well, listen, until the next time we get together, may God bless you and keep you. Shalom.